We all know that nighttime can be a little scary. Who doesn't get a shiver when things unknown go bump in the night? But you're gonna see in this roster of videos that yes, things can get a little wild during the day as well. And it was all captured on film. Whether it's a walk in a forest where you find a bunch of dolls hanging from trees, or a walk on a beach to find exploding creatures straight from a science fiction movie, today we'll be talking about 15 of the most terrifying things caught on tape during the day. <laughs> Feeding Time at Eel Farm this buffet at an eel farm gives a whole new meaning to the words feeding time. The most popular dish on the buffet line? Slab of fish paste, fish oil, wheat flour, soybean paste. How many ways can you say delicious? Most juvenile eels caught in the US and around the world go to farms where they are raised to market size, mostly because of the popularity of sushi. Eels apparently are the gateway drug of sushi because the fish is one of the very few options that are cooked. It is poisonous when eaten raw, making it a fitting introduction to Japanese cuisine. However, eel aquaculture operations rely on wild-caught juveniles because there are no eel hatcheries. While researchers have accomplished the farming of eels from eggs to maturity, the technology hasn't been commercially viable until now. Scientific discoveries could also advance eel farming since these fish don't develop sex organs till the last year of their life. Most eels raised on farms are male, which does not yield enough product to be worthwhile. In Canada, a company has succeeded in turning glass eels into females by using a form of estrogen. This innovation could make eel aquaculture a commercially viable operation. When production increases, it will be able to serve more customer demand. So who wants some sushi? Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. As much as we love mermaids, there's so much most of us don't know about these mysterious and captivating beings. Whether or not they're real, that's a question for another day. Just imagine they are. How could you not think they exist when we see what appears to be a mummified fish person laying on this beach? Some of the earliest legends of mermaids come from ancient Syria. The ancient story dates back to about 1000 BC, a little over 3000 years ago. In the Syrian story, a goddess wanted to be transformed into a fish, but when she dove into the water, only her bottom half was transformed. The resulting figure prompted our modern tales of mermaids. Perhaps this is the mummified Syrian goddess mermaid. It certainly looks like it. Don't you agree? Let us know your thoughts down below using the hashtag missing topic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? <laughs> Terrifying doll hanging in cave. Sometimes things are better left alone. Buckle up, spook lovers. Have you ever encountered an object that you think might be haunted or possessed? Maybe like this upside down doll hanging in a cave? And have you wished you could have it examined by a paranormal expert? That's what happened to this person who came across this baffling effigy. A similar story came out regarding a similar doll. The two friends had gone hiking in New York State and stumbled upon a creepy statue in a cave. But unlike this doll in the video, the wood-carved statue had nails in its eyes and a noose around its neck. Although he urged his friend not to take the statue, his friend went against his advice and removed the statue from the cave. When he took it home, all hell broke loose. He thought he had a ghost or a spirit attached to it. And there were other weird occurrences that made him think he was being followed by a malicious entity, like disturbing smells. According to paranormal enthusiasts, that's a bad sign. Anything that smells rotten, dead, or spoiled could be the sign of a so-called unhappy spirit or entity. And there was random banging and knocking that only got worse. And soon after, he started waking up in the middle of the night, feeling like someone was watching, and his dogs won't go anywhere near it. <laughs> Live chicken python trap. Check out this intense video of what seemed to be a giant python in Brazil caught in a simple PVC pipe. The clip shows a snake gliding smoothly through water before becoming ensnared in a homespun snake trap. The small pond is actually a puddle with a homemade fence, and the giant anaconda is actually a smaller than average reticular python. Still, 
That doesn't make this any less impressive. Reticulated pythons, along with the green anaconda, are the largest snakes in the world. The largest recorded reticulated python was 28 and a half feet long and about 320 pounds. Despite heavy hunting pressures from the commercial skin trade, this species manages to maintain relatively large populations even in heavily populated areas. Still, this is a very effective trap. When the snake is shown entering the tube, it slithers through an untightened noose. When it reaches the end of the tube, it runs its head first into a stick held in place by a bent tree. Once the snake makes contact with that stick, it releases the tension and closes a noose around the snake, trapping it against the roof of the PVC pipe. In fact, this pipe trap is effective if you're looking to catch any type of snake, and it's pretty cheap to make on your own, Snake Hunter. <laughs> Screaming Crow Swarm these crows have been screaming outside my apartment for 14 hours. That was the headline when this poor person posted this video. And granted, this would be annoying for anyone, but let's look at these fascinating creatures before we get too annoyed by them. Loud, rambunctious, and very intelligent, crows are most often associated with a long history of fear and loathing. They're considered pests by farmers trying to protect their crops and seedlings. Many people fear them, but crows are actually very social and caring creatures, and also among the smartest animals on the planet. They they roost in huge numbers in the thousands to protect themselves from enemies like red-tailed hawks, horned owls, and raccoons. They use at least 250 different calls to bring other crows to their aid. A group of crows is called a murder. There are several different explanations for the origin of this term, mostly based on old folk tales and superstitions, because ravens and crows are generally associated with dead bodies, battlefields, and cemeteries, and they're thought to circle in large numbers above sites where animals or people are expected to die die soon. But the term murder of crows mostly reflects a time when groupings of crows gather. It just sounds really bad. <laughs> Invisible Ghost Car a Russian dash cam has captured a collision from the most unlikely of angles. The way this left turn at an intersection appears from the dash cam's perspective makes it look as though a car mysteriously appeared out of nowhere in the middle of this intersection. Do you see it? And based on the response from viewers of this viral video, there are some things that you just have to see to believe. Is it a ghost? or not. Filmed in Russia, the video captures cars taking a left turn at a busy intersection when suddenly a car heading straight mysteriously appears out of nowhere. But amazingly, none of the turning cars appear to make contact with the Enigma, although a dark BMW comes very close. The driver of a vehicle that's filming lets out a scream, clearly shaken by what they just seen. Who wouldn't? There's no assurance the video has been edited this way, but it's clearly spooked thousands of people. Viewers from across the world have attempted to explain how this ghost car appears in front of this BMW. Edited versions slow the footage down in an attempt to pinpoint the exact moment the car suddenly appears. Ghost car or not, this could be just an example of bad driving and good timing captured on dash cam. <laughs> Which UFO? Is it the season of the witch in Mexico? Real Mexican flying witch in Monterey caught on tape. That's what the buzz was all over Mexico when this footage hit the mainstreams. As you can see, it shows a mysterious witch caught on camera flying above mountains, the Bruja of Monterey. This footage is depicting La Bruja, a Mexican witch. But is it real? Bruja, witch, these two words mean the same thing, but both can cause people to feel uncomfortable. Typically, the word bruja or brujo is used to apply to someone practicing magic or sorcery within a cultural context. The practice of brujeria, which is a form of folk magic, usually involves charms, love spells, curses, hexes, and divination. Many practices are rooted in a blend of folklore, traditional herbalism, and Catholicism. And if this video was to be believed, they can also fly. Witch sightings have been cropping up in history a lot lately. Many strange ghosts and possible witches have been caught on tape here, sometimes by multiple sources. Some of the claims of the witches overhead were from reputable police officers who claimed to have had encounters. However, skeptics revealed that the witch UFO could be a drone quadcopter with a black sheet hanging off the bottom. What do you think? <laughs> Headless Walker you may have heard of this legendary character, the Headless Horseman. They've appeared in folklore around the world since the Middle Ages. Depending on the story, the horseman is either carrying his head or is missing his head altogether and is searching for it. What's this person's story? This mysterious footage shows a headless man walking down the street of an unknown location. 
Some people are convinced that this headless walker is absolute proof that it's possible, while others maintain all that it depicts is clever video editing. Is this video of a real headless man walking down the street? You decide. You may have seen or read of headless creatures in movies, series, and books, but can you fathom coming across one in real life? This mysterious viral footage has fooled us. It's happened before in the animal world. 70 plus years ago, a farmer beheaded a chicken in Colorado, and it refused to die. Mike, as the bird became known, survived for 18 months without a head and became famous. Is it possible a human could survive without a head? It could be a very slick costume like the magician performing sneezing tricks where a fake set of shoulders would conceal someone's head. That's also possible but not as fun. <laughs> Forest of Dolls Mystery surrounds the placing of these dolls in an area of woodland in Cannock Chase in England. A Ouija board was also located on the forest floor nearby. Scared yet? The person walking by filming this video was left stunned after finding the collection of dolls nailed to trees while exploring the Staffordshire forest. They appear to be in some sort of order, their dresses all raggedy, tied and nailed to the trees. The area was once a hospital into the early to mid-1920s. The community had strong bonds with those living there and those who passed. Eventually, many people were moved by the local council to new houses around Brinley Crescent, about a mile away. But the dead remained. Perhaps there's some occult activity happening here, or maybe there are children's ghosts from the hospitals that used to be here. Whatever the reason, this is the stuff that epic ghost stories and Hollywood blockbusters are made of. They were discovered near the site of the former hospital, which closed in 1924. The site, which is now covered in trees, had prompted a wave of interest, including from paranormal investigators who visited the woodland at night only to find all but one of the dolls had been removed. <laughs> Snake Rat Infestation From Mickey Mouse to Tom and Jerry, mice have an incredible amount of positive pop culture on their side. But if you've ever had a rat infestation at a restaurant, then you know exactly how terrifying rats can be. Rats really can swim through your toilet. Two rats are all it takes to start a rat infestation, and they can have upwards of 6,000 babies in their lifetime. And rats are invisible. Okay, fine, rats aren't literally invisible, but they're extremely difficult to catch. That's why you bring in the big guns to solve the problem. A snake. If you're looking for a natural way to get rid of a rat problem, this might be the answer for you. The homeowner here clearly knew they had a problem in the walls and there was a solid way to effectively remove the rat intruders, put a snake in the wall and watch the rats scurry out. You see the snake disappear into the pre-cut hole in the wall and then you see rats starting to spring out of the walls trying to avoid the predator that's now slithering around inside. It's a snake acting the part of an exterminator. The rats are herded into the waiting bucket for disposal. No big traps or chemical poisons are needed. The snake peeks out of the wall after the last rat falls into the bucket, and after a few seconds, the snake starts to slither out of the hole with a job well done. Rattlesnake Pit Rattlesnakes got their name from their signature rattles at the end of their tails. What makes the sound are the different layers of skin that build up on the rattle every time the snake sheds its skin. This, coupled with the snake shaking its tail at a tremendous speed, causes the telltale rattling noise we all know so well. And in this pit, it's all you can hear because it's full of these telltale rattlers. This nature enthusiast from Montana recently took a GoPro out to film a rather large and scary pit of rattlesnakes, and you can see what happens. At first, things go pretty smoothly as the camera gets closer to the sea of snakes. The serpents are curious at first, hissing up a storm. While the camera was dangling from a stick overhead, the snakes attacked. A couple of snakes struck it, and one eventually succeeded at knocking it into the pit, offering viewers extremely up-close footage of snakes and their rattlers. They proceeded to crawl out all over it. The video is not for the faint of heart. You definitely don't want to be this close in person. Rattlesnake bites are a medical emergency because they're venomous. If left untreated, the bite may result in severe medical problems or can be fatal. Did this GoPro owner get his camera back? That's highly unlikely. <laughs> Creepy Exploding Sea Creature This alien-esque sea monster could be anything. It appears to be some sort of amphibious sea animal that ventured ashore. Is this a dangerous new species? Alien creature? Or is it an elaborate hoax? Don't stick around to find out. It's one thing to have an incredible day at the beach, and it's another thing to discover something unforgettable. Like this pink mystery. 
while you're soaking up some sun. Many people who have seen this video are speculating that this crazy creature by the sea is fake, perhaps like the so-called found footage created to generate a buzz over some new blockbuster movie. It looks pretty real to us. After these fishermen started poking and prodding the creature with a stick, they flipped it over. It was then they decided to give it a swig of a carbonated beverage. And as you can see, it's an explosive result. But what we're looking at here, after these curious people wandered up to this big pink mushroom-like creature, the unthinkable happens. Would you be willing to risk upsetting it by pouring soda into what appears to be a mouth? Then watching it explode? Well, these people were. This is probably not the best use of fizzy drinks, and we recommend not trying this if you ever come across a similar situation. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Chupacabra Tape The legendary Chupacabra Ever heard of it? Descriptions of Chupacabra vary widely, but many accounts suggest that the creature stands about 4 to 5 feet tall. It has powerful legs that allow it to leap huge distances, with long claws and terrifying glowing red eyes. There are no known photographs of the beast or even credible footprints. Instead, the Chupacabra is known mostly through a few dozen eyewitness sightings and many dead animals. It's probably the world's best-known vampire after Dracula, and its victims are often claimed to have been found completely completely drained of blood. For years, legends of the blood-sucking monster have been a staple urban myth throughout Latin America and into the southern U.S. state, fueled by a succession of alleged carcasses, sightings, and tall tales of farm animals and family pets being killed. While checking the fence lines in rural Dewitt County, law officials caught an animal alive on camera, many believe may be the famous monster, a chupa out in broad daylight. The chupacabra is among the most popular of the mystery beasts, and a semi-regular guest star in monster documentaries and on occasion local news reports. However, experts think if they're real, these hairless dog-like creatures are likely related to the common coyote. <laughs> Lost Tribesmen Found There are a small number of tribes around the world who have little to no contact with the modern world as we know it, like the tribes in the Amazon. The vast majority of an estimated 100 or more isolated tribes live in Brazil, but others can be found in Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and northern Paraguay. Could such a tribe be in Indonesia? If this video is any indication, maybe so. A mysterious being that defies description has been filmed prowling the jungle and draw-dropping new footage. The incredible video appears to show a tiny human-like creature carrying a spear running out of the forest as it flees a group of trail bike riders. Is the mysterious humanoid a member of a lost tribe? The footage even shows one of the bikers falling on the ground as the small being runs away. However, not to miss out on an opportunity, one of the bikers continues down the track in hot pursuit, but the so-called tribesman jumps into the bushes by the side of the road. Some users think this unusual being is a member of a lost Manti tribe who's said to be smaller than the average man completely detached from the outside world, but most people think the Manti people are simply legends. Wouldn't you know it, archaeologists found evidence of an ancient race of a small hobbit-like human on the island believed to have lived around 50,000 years ago. So maybe… <laughs> Woman Disappears On Air while a sports star was being interviewed in an airport in Denmark, watched the woman standing in the background vanish without a trace, or at least appear to. Did you see it? This out-of-thin-air video left viewers scratching their heads after the woman mysteriously disappeared during a live TV broadcast. Two women are seen on the left-hand side of the screen as they collect their luggage from a baggage conveyor belt. Incredibly, as the first woman walks by with her luggage trolley, the second woman, standing slightly behind her, seems to completely vanish into thin air. Was there an unexpected technical glitch? It's possible. Or maybe she turned and walked off camera at the perfect time with the person pushing the trolley out of frame. What do you think? Several viewers had theories for the woman's bizarre vanishing act. Of course, Harry Potter-level magic was one theory. Seeing as there have been no corresponding reports of a police investigation into this woman disappearing from this airport, there has to be a logical explanation. Maybe we're just going mad. However, in reality, the two walked out of frame simultaneously. It was a depth perception trick. <laughs> Creepy missing person posters what if you stumbled across this while hiking in the woods one afternoon? It did happen to an unfortunate hiker in Suffolk County, New York. A man hiking through the woods in Long Island came upon what looked like a scene out of a horror film. He shot, on his phone, 25 missing person posters taped to the trees, along with some ratty old bedding, a shovel, a large tent, 
a collapsed handmade wooden cage surrounding a filled-in hole. Very Blair Witch. Oddly, they looked weathered as if they'd been there for a long time, almost like shrines to missing people. If it is a prank, it sure is a freaky one. Someone went through a lot of effort to create the missing persons project in this forest. Looking into the posters further, the confused hiker discovered that they matched those of real missing person cases, which freaked him out even more. So he contacted local police. It's been claimed that the posters were there as decorations for a Halloween party. So it's possible that it's just an elaborate and very creepy stunt to get the locals worked up or generate some press. And it worked. See, it does pay off to be a day person, all you night owls, especially one who loves to film everything. But we can't promise your footage won't be terrifying and unexplainable. And we wouldn't have it any other way. Like and subscribe if you agree. <laughs>